Hello America, welcome back to Mullet You. This is Keith, your mullet man guy who fixes stuff. Um, today I want to ask you a couple questions. I've been asked a lot of what is my and how are my three favorite dishwashers or the best dishwashers, however you want to look at it. There's two ways of looking at that. One is price. What is the best price for value? That unfortunately I can't tell you because I don't know what you want to spend. The best thing I can advise on that is figure out how much money you have and then find out who's going to give you the most for what you want to spend. Now, that being said, reliability, durability, that's a whole different question. We're going to go into a little bit of reliability and durability today. To me, the most reliable and durable dishwashers that I think of my top three are going to be Miele, Bosch, and higher end GEs, okay? The reason I say that is they are a little pricier, there's a little more put into them, and they're not quite as mass produced. Mass production inherently breeds issues, okay? That's just, when you make five boards, you may be good. You make 500,000 boards, you're going to make issues that are going to come in, okay? Me personally, one of the best, most reliable I found is the Miele, okay? It's a Miele dishwasher, okay? They are very pricey, but they are very, very good. Okay, um, would I spend a thousand dollars on a dishwasher? No, I would not. Okay, but as for having to go fix them, you don't fix a lot of them. Basically, they run till they stop. Usually, it's five to seven years, depending on how much you do. And at that point, you're not going to pay to fix it because it's time to buy a new one. The next one would be Bosch. Bosch is also a very, very good manufacturer. The nice thing I like about Bosch, which a lot of the other ones don't have, is if you have a top panel, this basically locks out, so if it's closed, you can't touch any of the buttons. And they have a little light comes on down here that actually will tell you the machine is operating, okay? They're very good, they last a very quite a while, and they're very, very quiet. That's, you know, one of the other ones. The other ones would be your profile, not your profile, but your monogram GE dishwashers. Those are also very, very, very good. They put a lot of time and a lot of effort into making sure they are good to go okay yes you're gonna pay more for it but you get what you paid for okay case in point I can go out and buy a, um, a washer dryer that is um, HE high, uh, high efficiency washer that's gonna be great now on the different subjects speed clean they are a commercial washer if you ever go to a commercial laundry site pretty much they're all gonna be speed cleans or those along those lines their mass production is commercial. They get into residential. They are a higher price. You will pay twice to three times what you would for a washer, but it's gonna last two to three times longer than your normal washer. Same thing with your GEs, your higher end stuff. The more you pay for it, generally the longer it's gonna last, okay? If you pay $400, $300 for a dishwasher, it's a good dishwasher, don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna last as long as your eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollar dishwasher is gonna last, okay? So take that into consideration. You may benefit on the short term by not spending much money, but you're probably gonna end up spending as much money over time as you would normally if you had bought the bigger one, bigger, more expensive one. But those are my three top dishwashers that I think are the best for reliability and, you know, staying good. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, come back for some more good information, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.